Okay, let's consider this question. A battery of three cells in series, each of EMF, two volts, an internal resistance, 0 0.5 ohm is connected to a two ohm resistor in series with a power combination of two three ohm resistor. Draw the second diagram and calculate the effective internal resistance, the current in the circuit, the loss volt in the battery, the current in one of the three ohms resistor. Okay, first and foremost, the question says we should draw the second diagram of the question, this situation. A battery of three cells in series uh, will represent the cells three as the three cells I'm representing now of EMF two volts, each of them, each of the cells is two volts, two volts, two volts, each of the cells, two volts. And the cell, each of the cell has 0 0.5 ohms as internal resistance. Here we have 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. They're all in ohms. It's connected to a two ohms resistor. Yeah, we complete the circuit diagram. We have a resistor here. That resistor is two ohms. A two ohms resistor in series with a power combination of two three ohms resistor. Then we have a power combination of two resistor each, each of value, three ohms connected in parallel. And I close the circuit. Uh, this is uh, three ohms. And this is also three ohms. Uh, this is how the circuit diagram will look like. And the first question asks, uh, you should find the effective external resistance, effective external resistance. Now we have three resistors here. These two are in parallel. Uh, first and foremost, we need to find effective, the power combination, the resistance of this power combination. I'll represent that by one of our RP, that means one over three plus one over three. I will have um, two over three. If I make R, P, the resistance in power, the subject formula that is three over two. I will end up having um, that resistance to be 1.5 ohms. That is the resistance between these two. Now, let's find the total resistance, external resistance. We add this now. The total resistance will now become two plus the one that we have calculated here, RP, resistance in power as 1.5. We will have. 3.5 ohms. Now we have answered the question as a um, part A, the question 3.5. Now B, uh, the current in the circuit, uh, you know, current, if you look at the circuit diagram, current will flow. The current comes from the source, the battery, a move. The current will also emit back to the source. So the current in the circuit. For us to find the current in the circuit, we have to use Ohm's law. In this situation, Ohm's law becomes the EMF, external resistance, which is the total, plus the external resistance, the total, effective external resistance. We have to we have to find, we have to find 
E. Uh, we have here each of the MF is two volt, two volt, two volt. So E will be the sum of each of the EMF of the cell. I'll give us six volts. And remember, remember the cell. Remember the cell, each of the cell has 0 0.5 volts as uh, internal resistance. So this, the total internal resistance will be the sum of the individual internal resistance, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. Okay. Um, that should give 1.5 ohms. That will give 1.5 ohms. Okay, now that we have the total external um, internal resistance, uh, we have the effective EMF of the cells in series. This is a battery. We can now find the current using this equation here, the current flowing. That is um, EMF. Is it all external resistance? Internal resistance. If you put that together, you substitute E. That is um, E six volts. Total external resistance is three point five. And total internal resistance is 1.5. That's 1.5. We'll have a main current. Main current will be everything will be 1.2 ampere. We calculate that this arrangement, that's 1.2 ampere. That means we have, we have calculated the current in the circuit, the current in the circuit. That is the current in the circuit is uh, 1.2 flowing. Let's see, the loss volts in the battery, loss volts in the battery. Let's solve for the loss volts in the battery. That's um, let C. The loss volts, the expression for the loss volts is given by I R, the product of the main current and the total internal resistance. Um, the calculated current is 1.2, and the internal resistance is 1.5, what we calculated. And that will give us 1.8 volts. So 1.8 volts is the loss volt. A lot of like uh, the voltage trapped by the internal resistance of the cell. It's three cells. Uh, what is trapped is unuseful. D, um, the current is one of the three ohm resistor. Uh, remember the main current which we calculated is uh, 1.2 ampere, the main current. That's 1.2 ampere. If you check very well the circuit diagram, at this point here, this is where the current splits. These two resistors are in parallel. So it was, it was, yeah, they have equal value. So the main current will divide into two. Part of it, three ohm, part of it will pass to three ohms. So the main current, 1.2 ampere coming from here will split into that. So, the main current is 1.2. So the current that will pass through the three ohms will be the main current divided by two. That is 1.2 ampere divided by two. And we'll have, if we do that, 0 0.6 ampere. So the current in one of the three ohms resistor is what? 0 0.6 ampere. That, that we have solved for that question. Then the next question, uh, look at this circuit diagram. Look at that circuit diagram. We are asked to, we are asked to 
calculate the current in the circuit when as option A, the key is open, and part B, the key is closed. Let me check. A, when, when the key is open, when the key is open, if you look at the diagram very well, uh, this part, is the current come from the positive side? Let's check the mouse. It can flow because it's open current don't flow, uh, don't pass through an open circuit. So it passes through the eight ohms and through the two ohms back to the source, the six volts source of uh, EMF that power the circuit. Now these two are in series, eight and two are in series. So in this situation, the effective resistance will be eight ohms plus two ohms that will give us 10 ohms and the voltage of the circuit that from the source is six volt that power the circuit at that time so in this regard the current by ohms log voltage all over resistance is equal to the voltage there is six uh, the effective resistance is 10. That means the current is uh, 0. Point. The current is 0. 0.6 amperes. 0. 0.6 amperes, that's the current. And when the key is open. And now, uh, part B of that question, when when the key is closed, when the key is closed, when the key is closed, when the key is closed. Now, if you check out, if this key is closed, when the current comes from the source, it will split at this junction. Part of the current will pass through 8 ohm. Now, these two resistor, 8 ohm, 8 ohm, are now in parallel to each other. And the current will come, will join back, back to, uh, to the source, to pass through two ohms back to the source. So we need to find the power combination of these two resistors, the resistance of these two, they are power. So what we need to do there is um, one over R parallel, because one over eight plus one over eight, uh, this implies that uh, one over R is two over eight. That means, the resistance in parallel become eight over two, that is um, four, four ohms, that is four ohms. Um, the four ohms is the combined resistance of these two. It's now one. Now it's now the four ohms is now in series with two ohms resistor. So with that, we can say the effective resistance of the circuit when the key is closed is four plus two. Four plus two, we will have six ohms. We have six ohms. Then we can now find the current using Ohm's law, which is the voltage all over the resistance. Uh, the voltage is six and the resistance is six. That means, the current is one ampere flowing. Uh, in this situation, yeah, uh, when it is open, the current flowing in the circuit is 0 0.6. And when it is closed, the current flowing is one ampere. That is all. Yes, sir.